Hi everyone, today is June 20th, 2019. I'm at the 42nd Street Times Square Station on the 7th train platform. It is around 4.20 p.m. It is around 75 degrees Fahrenheit and depending on the weather outside, I may or may not need this umbrella I'm carrying. It is noticeably humid today. Earlier on there were some thunderstorms. I'm not sure if that's the same situation right now outside. But I'll be walking from 42nd Street Times Square to Central Park. As you can see here, even people walking up the escalator can't go back because, can't go up because of people with poor etiquette. But it's normal to stand to the right and let people pass on the left. Looks like someone's playing music here, but I want to get out of the subway station as quick as I can, so I'm taking the 41st Street and 7th Avenue Northwest Corner exit. Fun fact, the 7 train that I was that I just came off on doesn't run on 42nd Street, but it actually runs under 41st Street. But the complex, the subway station complex itself is called Times Square 42nd Street. I do see an umbrella, two umbrellas, so I'm definitely going to need to take mine out. So this direction is south, and to the left is north. This is 7th Avenue. Since this is rush hour, it's going to be very uh, chaotic now with all the people out. What a coincidence, I come out of the subway station and immediately it starts pouring. We may get some bad thunderstorms here. Everyone's hiding from the rain underneath this awning. Here's 42nd Street. I hear an umbrella hustler in the background yelling out for umbrellas and ponchos to sale. I'm sure they're going to do a lot of business today. So this is Times Square in the rain, everybody. There's one Times Square with Walgreens on the bottom. This is where the ball drops for New Year's Eve. Um, scaffolding and it's a favorite for New Yorkers to hide under to avoid getting wet in weather such as this. As you know or may not know already, New York City is a scaffolding city because the politicians have strict laws in place whenever building renovations are being done or new buildings are being constructed. Back in the day, there was people who have gotten hurt from construction debris, so they're being overly protected. As you can see, there's a lot of construction around New York. You have to go left and right before you can go straight.
is the center for NASDAQ, which is the uh, electronic exchange, stock market exchange. Looks like the city is installing ballers here. There were some high profile incidents here involving uh, cars coming off the curb and hitting pedestrians. Big bus to New York, nobody on it, understandably. Very unique umbrella there, a black piece of clothing, very thin piece of clothing, but hey, it works for a little while. That's a nice looking umbrella, it's a rainbow. I always like to see different umbrella designs rather than the standard black that New Yorkers always like to uh, carry around. That's a nice floral umbrella. This is 43rd Street. This is very new. There's a express sidewalk now to 45th Street and a sidewalk for the retail stores. But the express sidewalk looks like it's more flooded than the local sidewalk. So I think I'm gonna hop this sidewalk and head over to the other one. Something the city didn't exactly plan out. Not so express if you have to deal with rivers to get to where you're going. There's something magical about Times Square in the rain. <laughs> I think that person's umbrella in front of me has seen better days. I love New York umbrella and a New York loves me bubble umbrella. Very cute, interesting designs. So I was saying New York, uh, Times Square is magical in the rain. You have a lot of different colors and come on yellow taxi cab, there's an ambulance that needs to get by. That's right, tell them. Get out of the way. Now I'm in the middle of the designated activity zone, so I may be approached by costume characters, except now they don't want their costume wet. So here you see Spider-Man and who knows what that is trying to get wet. You got a transformer there. I doubt that's comfortable in this wet environment right now. A word of advice, if you come to Times Square and take pictures with the costume characters, they expect a tip in return, which is a monetary donation. You're not obligated to give them any money, but they'll highly, they'll be very aggressive towards you. New Yorkers do the strangest things in the rain. Some of them, they just brave it out. Some run like the wind. People like this wear ponchos. And tourists who don't prepare for this rain, they just brave it out, I guess. This week in general has been very rainy. This is the empanadas food stand. Times Square recently uh, installed these food stands across uh, the plaza here in Times Square. There's a main lobster food stand.
here is the Olive Garden. Olive Garden is a um, branch of Italian restaurants that's very popular throughout the United States. Hershey's Kisses advertisement and more chocolate. I guess that's Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah. Every time you go to Times Square, you see different advertisements. So even the people who live here, like myself, they'll find something different. Beware of attack jackass. I wonder what they're filming here or preparing to. I do wonder if the weather will get in the way of their production. I know it's not stopping my video right now. So I am going to make a right here because I want to head up onto 7th Avenue instead of Broadway. It's just that that block there was less crowded. But as I continue up Broadway more, it diverges from 7th Avenue at a greater angle, so I don't want to walk too far. Here we have the classic uh, car or motor vehicle blocking the pedestrian crosswalk. You can just see how intense this rain is by looking at the windshield wipers of the vehicles. This is the M&M store and looks like everyone decided to visit today to the M&M store. There usually isn't a line to get into the store but during certain times such as this or um, during the holidays sometimes they have uh, external lines looks like somebody's celebrating Christmas early or selling souvenirs at least it's about six months away but whatever floats their boat Okay, if I had superpowers, I'd go right through this bus like this. But instead, I'm just a normal human being. I notice a good number of people are unprepared for this rainstorm right now. I'd say a good percentage of them are tourists. Here's a big bus tour for the Brooklyn tour with these hop on and hop, hop off buses. You just pay one price and you can take them throughout locations through the city and then get on the next one. I do believe they run every 15 minutes if I'm not mistaken. I do think it's a little bit pricey for what you get. You can get a much better uh, experience if you take the New York City subway. It's much more affordable and it'll make all the same stops that the buses do. It 
It's just that you do have to know your way around. There won't be anybody guiding you where to go on the subway unless you ask someone who may or may not be willing to help you. This is a shop dedicated to New York City souvenirs. If you decide to go into those shops, make sure that the item that you're purchasing matches up with your idea of affordability. I do believe there are better bargains to be had for New York City souvenirs other than the shops around Times Square, such as uh, the shops in Chinatown. Now here's a building that was in the news not too long ago, 787 7th Avenue. This is the AXA Equitable Building, which had the Midtown Manhattan helicopter crash on June 10th, only 10 days ago on Monday. I still can't see any signs of damage because it was on the roof. And I suspect any kind of damage that was left behind has been cleaned up already. When I came here during this that day, I couldn't get around to this block because it was all closed off. Oh, that's just horrible. That person just dragged a suitcase through a puddle full of water. At least put some plastic around your suitcase so it doesn't get wet. This is the Sheraton New York Hotel. There are a wide range of hotels to stay around in uh, near Times Square. The Sheraton being one of the more uh, upscale ones. Here's a sculpture which says Hope. I've seen similar installations where they, see, uh, they say love or other kinds of uh, one word sculptures. And then people take pictures of them. I guess they're rotating around places throughout the city and throughout the world. I was in Philadelphia and it said love. This is the Stagecoach Pub. You can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. There's someone with a golf umbrella. Golf umbrellas uh, are much bigger, but they're also more challenging to um, maneuver in the city because some of the scaffoldings and the buildings can get in the way and the narrow sidewalks. You could be bumping into someone else's umbrella without even knowing it. I just noticed that the person in front of me has a Sheraton umbrella. Maybe the hotel gave it to them or they bought it at the gift shop. Mm -hmm. 
I guess that's a good uh, trick to know if you're ever in a hotel. You can always ask the front desk if they have accommodations or things that you can keep. Sometimes you can get supplies like shaving cream and nail clippers at the front desk. All you have to do is ask. Statue of Liberty is getting all wet right now. Someone's using their backpack as an umbrella. It works too. Okay. Pedestrian signal says to walk, but people are too uh, distracted to notice that it's on, so I'll just go around them. Looks like undercover police making their way down 7th Avenue. Here's an umbrella seller. I'm assuming the big bus tours gives out free ponchos. It's also a good way for them to advertise. It doesn't cost that much for a piece of plastic with your brand on the back to know that there's a company offering tours of New York City. Looks like I'm crossing the street because someone decides to stop in the middle of the road. Here's the 888 Cafe and Bar. Fireman Hospitality Group Restaurant. And now I reach 57th Street otherwise known as Billionaire's Row in this section of Midtown Manhattan because of the numerous high rises. Just looking up, you can see the high rise being still being constructed right now. I think that's the Central Park Tower. Across the street from me is Carnegie Hall, the performance venue. That way is toward the Hudson River, and this way is toward the East River. Nice pool shot right down 57th Street. Hello. Here's PJ Carney's Pub, an Irish pub. According to that bus stop, it's 4.42 p.m., 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Someone just dropped their phone.
One thing I would recommend if you're coming to New York is to have a durable phone case because you'll undoubtedly be checking your phone a lot and you might bump into someone or you bump into something or it slips out of your hand and then your phone falls on the floor. And hard pavement is no uh, friend to cell phones. It does seem the rain is quieting down a little bit. So now I approach 59th Street, otherwise known as Central Park South in this area because it borders Central Park on the southern side. I won't have enough time to cross the street because now the timer just counted to zero. I don't think those horses will enjoy the rain too much. Some of them do have covered, um, covered carriages though, so you can take a ride without getting wet. Down that way is Columbus Circle with the Time Warner Center above. And that way is further down 59th Street. This is Central Park. I'm entering on the southern side. That must be a specialized vehicle because uh, motor vehicles are not allowed in Central Park. But city vehicles are excluded. Down there is the Dipway Arch. Central Park has various arches to go underneath the, um, the main drive there. It definitely adds a lot of character to Central Park and it provides a safe way for pedestrians to cross the main drive where there's oftentimes a lot of bicyclists and other um, motorized vehicles. During the weekends and during uh, sunny weather, this West Drive and the Main Drive can get very crowded. Those cyclists in front of me are actually supposed to dismount and walk their bicycle. But of course no one's enforcing that rule right now because 
It's raining. So I'm approaching the 6th Avenue entrance of Central Park. I'm going this way because it's very um, challenging to walk eastward unless you come this way. The path winds a little bit more north and that's not where I want to go. These flowers here still smell very fresh. It's almost the start of summer, so many of the flowers and shrubs have bloomed or are about to bloom. Across the street from me at 106 uh, 59th Street is Trump Park, one of the many properties named after President Trump, Donald Trump. High horse. Those horse carriages, I must tell you, they are a little bit pricey. I saw a sign on the horse carriage that said maximum rate $54.08. That can't possibly be per minute. Maybe that's half an hour. I'm not, sh I'm not sure. But now I've made it to the Central Park Pond. These flowers just smell so nice. I guess the rain is helping uh, bring the scent out even more. But this Central Park Pond is also the site of the um, Mandarin duck, which found its way very strangely into Central Park's waters a few month months ago. Hey, look at this, there's a duck right here. just waddling around the Central Park path. Wonder what the duck is eating. Well, I'll let the duck just drink up some more water. Personally, I wouldn't be drinking that water because it's so dirty, but 
I guess it's fresh enough for them and their digestive system can handle it. I don't know if you can see it from this camera, but there's a white bird across the pond on a tree branch. As you can see, I just walked from the hustle and bustle of the city to this quiet natural sanctuary. I can hear birds and car honking in the background. Here's a very charming sight. A male and female duck just grooming themselves. Hi. They're definitely not camera shy. I will step off into the pond here with these rocks. I just hope they're not too slippery. Yeah, it's not too bad. Look at that, it seems like the sky in that portion of the um, Central Park is clearing up. One thing about the rain is many people are afraid to go out in the rain because they don't want to get wet or other things, but it does bring out a certain beauty within the city. It makes for some very spectacular sights and things you don't normally see on a regular basis. Here's a very interesting bird. I do believe that's a mockingbird. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section. On second thought, I don't think that's a mockingbird. Mockingbirds a little bit have a little bit longer tails. These are these sparrows that are common around New York City all over. It is interesting how the city turn on these lamps even though it's still um, light out. Here's some marble. I have to be very careful here because it gets very slippery. And just like that, the rain stopped. Well, pretty much stopped anyway.
This is the new horse carriage pickup and drop off site. What I just passed were uh, pedicabs. People here make their living by peddling their um, customers throughout the city and through Central Park. It's fun for a while until you realize that it's $3 per minute per ride. So if you take a ride for 10 minutes, that's 30 bucks. Just realize that. I remember a fun interaction I caught when I was walking from Grand Central down Park Avenue and there was a pedicab rider who dropped the woman off. She looked very happy until the pedicab driver mentioned the price and then her face just dropped, her jaw just dropped. So just be aware that the prices are a little bit pricey. But I'm going to enter the 5th Avenue N, R, and W train station right now. Right after the rain ended. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below. And I'll see you soon. And there's a caution wet floor sign on the, on the ground like it wasn't obvious enough, right? See you later.